how come that signs up it says this is not a public area yet there's a bulletin board back there with public notices that by law we need access to can you answer that question okay. i can do one one of these things at a time sir let me figure out where the form is you can do one of, you can't stop and answer the question real quick sir I would appreciate it if you'd let me finish this up. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, so the way the law works is if we can go to the public restroom, I can be in those areas freely and Where I can go through. Go I'm answering your questions. I can go through and, and record in anywhere the public can be. You're going to end up in Carson Jail. You'll be staying there. Carson Jail? You're going to violate my First Amendment right? I'm going to violate your First Amendment right. That's what you'd be doing. You're trying to put a time limitation on them. I can stand What's here and work. Service? I can stand my story. I can stand here and work on my story all day. Yes, I can. Go educate yourself. What's going on, Bay fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency. We're back at it once again. And for this video, we are back in Nevada at the education department doing a follow-up. I was never able to ask for public records because of the way the employees were acting. So I went back again and it got worse. And again, the same Capital City police officer showed up and he thinks again that you can trespass somebody from a public lobby because they don't like our camera and our First Amendment right. It's ridiculous. Wait till you watch this video. As well, he did this right in front of his chief of Capitol Police, and the chief didn't do anything about it. Follow us on Facebook, Bay Area Transparency Official. Follow us on Instagram, at Bay Area Transparency. Subscribe, like, share. Let's do it, baby. B-A-T, I'm out. We don't want any crazy nonsense happening. But sometimes with ignorant people, ignorance is hard to ignorance is hard to uh hard to stop right and it's hard to predict um so unfortunate but we'll see oh they've locked the door now that's funny so now you can't come in so you can see them in here very very clearly and um they've locked the door on me so now you can't come into the education department, you can't get services, you can't get anything. Um, and they have the doors locked as you guys can see. This is all locked and this is locked. You can no longer come in your lobby now, Bayham. They're, they're doing this, they're probably just selectively letting people in. And uh, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. So let me see here, is this one locked too? Yep, locked, locked. So. I guess you can't get service here today. Uh, They're not responding to me knocking. They're not responding to me needing help. They are open. It's Thursday, right? It's not a Friday. They're not closed. It's now the lady's not even in there. So you can see she's not at the chair. They're not, and they're not answering or responding to me knocking on the door. This is what you get when you exercise your First Amendment right. Um, you get people as public employees that don't want to help you, don't like your First Amendment right, and don't care about it. Um, and that's not okay at all. Oh. So, you see these people? Hello, I need help. This lady saw me and she just walked in. She shut the door. She's starting to buzz around the office and they are refusing to assist me. Hello? Well, I was trying to gain access to get my records that I couldn't get yesterday and they have the doors locked. So, doesn't seem like uh, they should have the doors locked. It seems like they should be unlocked so the public can access the services that we pay for here. What so. records are you trying to get? Doesn't matter, public records. I'm, that's what I'm asking. What are the public records you want? Just records that I want. I'll deal with them. Deal with it with them. You can't get them for me because you don't work for them. So it depends on what they are. I might be able to get them. No, I'll ask them. Yeah, I need to be able to get records and ask them for records. Well, what are the records? Again, I'm not going to tell you. It doesn't matter. I need to be able to talk with them about it. Yeah, that's 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 what we pay for. We pay for that service. So taxes pay for it. They need to open the doors up. Them yesterday? No, I, I, could, I didn't ever had a chance because they were freaking out so much. I went ahead and went out yesterday because they were like being real crazy. I said, let me just go out here and de-escalate de this situation. And that. so I didn't have a chance to even ask for the records or ask how to get them. They literally just d wouldn't deal with me and, and went away. So, 
yeah so it's uh we ju i just need to be able to get my records so i can or at least ask them so i can i can be on my way it's kind of part of what i needed were they locked the whole time since you yep yep right when i walked up they were locked they seen me and they went out the office shut the doors and they're gone literally refusing me service and anybody else and that's why i asked the legislative police last night hey did you educate them did you tell them this because if they did do their job right like maybe you might have there this wouldn't be happening i don't think you know yeah. so, so that's why i asked I that question to uh, an individual after and she had said that i guess that they were concerned that they were trying to move around and you're like blocking their way and <laughs> stuff like that <laughs> They can totally move anywhere they I don't want. Think so, I'm not she here has to. to pass between you and them. I can move over. She That's can why pass I'm anywhere. Back up yeah. to the doors, please. Uh, yeah, the video will show way different. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good thing for having. Look at her running. That's exactly why I record so that everything's transparent. I think part of it's just with the, the current climate, people are just uneasy in general. Yeah, I mean, we hear that all the time. We can't keep using that because things don't happen all the time. No, oh, fair enough. I'll be able to walk in this office with my camera and 10 people that have cameras and they will say, hello, sir, how are you? How can we help you? Here's what you need. Is there anything more I can do? But until then, we got to deal with ignorance and that's fine with me as long as the educational point gets across, right? And so police can play a big part by, by when they talk to these people. Some police have this narrative that he, they're just here to start problems. They just want to get a confrontation for a video and, and blah, blah, blah. Now they have a negative perception. But if they say, hey, he's allowed to do this. He has a right to do this. There's nothing we can do. You guys have to give him service. He's not going to harm you. He just has a camera. Give him service. I think that that quells a lot of the fears that they would have. And it would serve to help the educational process, right? Me and you have had a decent conversation a couple Thanks. times now. And so whenever you encounter this, maybe that approach would be better. Uh, um, and I don't know what your approach is because I didn't hear your conversations last time with the public workers. But that's a, that would be a good approach to stop people. And so just so they understand it's a, it's a constitutionally protected right, it, it's like I, we don't, I don't want anybody to be fearful, right? Like that's not the goal. The goal is not for anybody to be riled up, mad, angry at me, hate me, fearful, or anything of that nature. But it like, that's why I'm trying to get across to you. And I think because you listen, we had a long conversation. That's the only reason why I'm using my breath to even say this, is that if they would have said the right things last night, nobody would be fearful today. You know what I mean? And, and uh, they, it would be more understood. So I just think it's super important that police, good officers, help play a part in like the the education process all right oh we open now hooray oh my goodness oh, very awesome how are you guys doing you're okay how are oh you i am great how come we had the doors locked we were working through some personnel concerns working through some personnel concerns maybe like a guy with a camera or can we help you something, sir? Yeah, I'm asking questions right now. Yeah, for sure, that's what one can of we them. Help you with? The questions I'm asking right now. Okay. Yeah, that's that's one of them. So was the personnel concerns a guy with a camera, or what was the personnel concerns? I'm not at liberty to discuss that. I'm not at liberty to discuss that. So do you guys typically lock the doors and not let the public in, or? No. We had a specific situation today that we're dealing with. Mm. Is there any public record that's going to be kept on that situation? Um, no, because it was not a public matter. It was not a, well, if it's internal and the doors were locked, it is a public matter. So I would request any emails or records regarding that situation. Um, I'm going to do a public records request. You guys want to uh, write it down? It's going to be quite a bit of information. Sure, let me help you with that. Yeah, and can I get your name, ma'am? My name's Ann Rayson. And what do you do here? I'm the Deputy Superintendent for Student Achievement. Deputy Superintendent, awesome. And what was your name? Megan. And what do you do here? I am the Deputy Superintendent of the Student Investment Division. And can I ask who you guys work for? Superintendent Joan Ebert. Okay. Well, who does this office work for? Can I ask that? The governor. The governor, not the public. By proxy, it serves the public, but our direct supervisor then would be the governor. Okay, yeah, okay, you guys work for the public. Did you want to write it down? 
um, I would, when you are ready. Okay. Yeah. So any, any uh, emails that are regarding uh, the situation that occurred on 11, what is it, 15? And now, um, uh, what times? Uh, I would say my last visit here on 1115, any emails, memorandums, um, trainings that could happen regarding that, um, any emails or communications regarding your guys' lockdown today and my visit today is something that I'm going to request. Can I get your name? No. How do you um, want to send the information to? I'll come back and get it. I'll Can come back and get it in five days. Yeah. Okay. You guys have five days, so I'll come back in five days. What time will you be here? Oh, I don't know. That'll be a surprise. So is that business days or? Well, the, I, w days? The, I believe the law says five days, so I would assume it's business days, but I just go by the law, not a not my my personal feeling. So, um, and then any email addresses that are assigned. Um, and and uh, that should be publicly, well, they're all publicly available. So any email addresses that the Department of Education assigns the employees here, I want those email addresses. They are currently available on our website. Right, but I can do a records request for them and get them as well. So that's what I'm doing. Um, any phone numbers that this uh, uh, department assigns to um, either the building or cell phones that the department assigns to somebody, I want those phone numbers. Those are also available on the website, but we will provide them. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I seriously doubt the cell phones that it pays for, that the department pays for are on the website. I doubt that. I'll look, but I seriously doubt that that's the case. Um, all the employees' names that I dealt with, um, including the three that came and approached me and tried to surround me yesterday, which you guys will see in my video, um, as well as your guys' names. And then so for the employees that I dealt with, I want their first, last, their salary, their work days, their work hours. For the cell phones that I requested, if the department does pay for cell phones for any of the employees here, I want the last three months cell phone bills. Um, I didn't see anybody, but I'm going to throw this out there. Did, if an employee decided that they were going to take a picture, video record, audio record, any portion of my visit here yesterday or today, they made a public record. Um, they need to not erase it. And I'm also going to request that public record. Uh, and just to notify you guys, if they do erase it and you guys don't, um, you fail to secure that record, it is, uh, actually a crime. So I'm just... A little bit of a notification for you. Um, I need the card, and I'm sure you guys can give that to me now, of the um, main superintendent here, so I can contact them with this with this report when I'm done with it. And I believe. think about this I believe that'll be it for now there's not security cameras that I see I was going to request a copy of those videos as well nope I think that'll be it for now and we will get more later oh uh actually no that's not it does this do you know off the top of your head is this building owned by the state or leased from a private party it is owned, it is owned by the state mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't need a lease agreement. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it for now. Okay. Awesome. Well, I guess now we'll all just stand here and stare at each other. Uh, I'll be around for a while. Any public areas? Um, the superintendent's office, how do we get there? This is not a public area. How do people get to the superintendent's office? So this is this is put up brand new to stop people from gaining access to the other offices that are that are here. Um, 
See, these offices people need to be able to access. People actually do and can access these offices, but now because of my visit yesterday, they have put up and, and limited the access to the public, which they really can't do, especially if the we have a directory here. These are all the uh, numbers where you go. This is where you go see the superintendents, right? That's not this office. Uh, if you want to go to see business and support services to request something, you go to that room. These are all rooms. So what they've effectively done now is they've made the decision that um, because somebody came in with a camera, we are going to we are going to limit the areas that this person can go into. Right. So this guy has a camera. We're going to limit. We're going to put up all these notices. Look, they put one right here. This is not a public area. All this stuff. They're 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 wrong. They're incorrect. It doesn't work like that. They are public areas. So what I'm going to do at this point is is wait here for somebody to come in and say, hey, I need to access such and such office and for them to let them in. Then I'm going to say, hey, I need to access such and such office. And if they refuse me, then we will go ahead and uh, add grounds to everything that we're working on. So, yeah, it, it doesn't work like that. These offices are open to the public. If people can go back there, then then I, too, can go back there. So and this is probably what we're seeing um, with these notices up is probably due to the lack of the legislative police last night educating them the right way. They probably said, oh, he's going to go in any public area, just put up signs and then he can't go here and he can't go there. That's technically not true because if other people can go there for business, then I can go there for my story. And that's how that works. Uh, just legally, it's just the way the law works. So um, they've been misguided and misled, but we will help them to be unmisguided and unmisled. It might be a painful process for them to, to get over the fact that they don't have control over the public, but we'll help them. I promise we'll help them. Oh, what was your name, ma'am? Ma'am, what was your name? Ma'am, what was your name? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is one of the ladies who confronted me yesterday and got extremely close. Ma'am, what was your name? Yeah. Ma'am, what was your name? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Perfect. We will go ahead and, and get your uh, push for your job there. All right. Oop, sorry about that. Okay, so she was she was she was confronting me yesterday, getting very very close, act, acting very very ma masculine. I, I was gonna say something else, but masculine and aggressive for some reason. Um, and then when I asked for her name, she just literally refuses to talk to me, um, and that's kind of not the way it works. Can I ask why the other lady just refused to provide her name and uh, was trying to get her name in position? I'm sorry, I'm trying to do my work. What did you need? Yeah, I asked why this other lady was just uh, refusing to give me her name and uh, position here when I was trying to I'm ask for it. I'm not sure, but I think that she came up to provide you with a card. I, I know, but I like you guys have an obligation to identify yourselves when we ask who we're dealing with. She was one of the ladies who confronted me yesterday. So I'm trying to get her name in order to file a complaint against yes, her. I think that you so. have that in the public request. Right, but you guys are supposed to identify. So I'm asking why, why did she not supply her name and what is I'll her have name? To ask her to okay, and what's her name and position, please? I'll have to, you've got that on your request. Okay, and you guys can give it to me now. I'm sure you know her name and position, we right? That five days and we will make sure that we look into your request. Uh, so they have five days to identify themselves. Interesting. You know, uh, that's not true, but that's okay. See, this is what we do. We document you guys, uh, uh, you know, not abiding by your policy and the laws, and then we expose you for it. Sir, and we work you to get you guys, you we work to get you guys moved I, out I of your, we work to get you guys moved out of your positions and people that actually respect us yes. into those positions. Sir, so we will, uh, so we will, uh, we will go ahead and start working on that um, as far as, that lady goes and anybody else who acted inappropriately yesterday. So, Is yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I asked you, I asked you for her name and position. Mm -hmm. I've already answered your question. Is there anything else that you need for me to write down? So I, can get oh, I didn't, I didn't, I don't feel I got an answer. Um, 
Now I feel I got a, a violation of the policy, but that's oh, good. Okay. I'm sorry that you felt that way, but now, I'm going to go ahead and get back to my this, No, don't, don't worry. It's okay. Do you guys have a complaint form? What is your complaint process? So now we will go ahead and file a complaint against her as well for not providing me the other lady's name and, and violating policy. Um, so complaint form or complaint process? Can you explain that to me? Yes, un this is just unfortunate. And it's just ignorant and dumb, if you ask me. I just don't I get it. I will go ahead and look that up, and I'll print it out for you, sir. But I'm going to appreciate that you don't call me ignorant and that you don't call me dumb. Thank you. Okay. Well, I appreciate that you feel yeah, that I'm I was... working on making sure I'm going to try to get that printed out for you right now. That's what I'm working on. Awesome. Okay. So keep in mind here that I didn't say this lady is ignorant or dumb i'm saying the actions that they're taking and the way that they are uh responding to me um the fact that they locked all these doors so complaint form is that a hard one to get and find or did we figure that out i'm working on it working on it yes, sir. can you answer how come that signs up it says this is not a public area yet there's a bulletin board back there with public notices that by law we need access to? Can you answer that question? Okay. I can do one one of these things at a time, sir. Let me figure out where the form is. You can do one. Of, you can't you. stop and answer the question real quick? Sir, I would appreciate if you'd let me finish this up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, I, I, I can understand what you'd like to do, but I'm asking you a question and uh, you're kind of obligated to give me that service. So, how about it? So again, refusing the, uh, let me move out of your way here. Thank you. Again, refusing to provide the service I'm requesting. And when you go back there, take a look up there at that public notices that are by law we're supposed to have access to, that you guys have blocked the public off to now with this page. Thanks. Did you want to check it out? So this is, this is what I mean. They don't care. And I see this, I see this a lot. I, I see it, I see it a lot. I see it a ton when, when like they still haven't got the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The uh, hypothetical public smackdown, right? Um, we see it a lot when they haven't got the hypothetical public smackdown. And uh, we're not going to in any way, shape, or form um, uh, answer your questions about anything else and things like that, but they will, and that's the thing. Um, so, okay, you did one thing uh, since we can't walk and chew gum. What about the other question I had? Okay, so actually you get paid for that, but uh, what about the other question I have about the public notices? Ma'am, I'm asking a question. I'm just letting you know, you guys are going to see the outcry from the public and you're probably going to get fired. I really hope you do. So the other question I have, I'm giving you another chance. Okay, send somebody that can answer that question because I have more questions, babe. Huh? Go back, take your ass back to work. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This is what I mean. Since we can't wash, she got mad because I said since we can't walk and chew gum, but hey, you're the one not giving me the 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 uh, service. You're the one not answering the questions. You're not the one. Maybe she can answer this question. Um, when did you guys put these up? Um, they just got refreshed today. They just got refreshed today. Did they get posted today? These specific ones, yes. Yeah, or any ones? I don't necessarily track what you mean by ones. Were they posted before today? But not where they are now, huh? We learned that we had some additional clarifications that we had to provide for personal safety and public safety. Interesting. So are you aware that in every public building there are public notices that must be posted? The public needs to have access to those at all times without asking. You're aware of that? Yes. Like ADA, things like that. Where is that in this lobby? Where is it? Where are those notices? 
Which notice are you speaking? The, the All the public notices that we just spoke about. I'll tell you where they're at. They're behind that door that you guys have just blocked off to the public. You guys are in violation, federal ADA laws, as well as other laws right now, at this point. Yeah, it's not just an observation. So who, part of my public records request will add who decided these were going to get up and, and be posted here and who posted them there, what employee? We'll, we'll, we'll add that to the public records request, uh, as well as why. That'll also be in a, a part of that public records request. So very clearly in violation. Um, what happens when somebody needs to come and speak to another one of these offices that you guys have the directory up for? They indicate because to I, a person at the desk and they will call that person. Well, I saw, uh, I mean, I've seen it before here um, because by now I think you guys might understand um, today's not my first day being here and neither is yesterday. Um, and I've seen people just, we just go walk back into the back and go to those offices and get those services. Mm -hmm. So why now are we not uh, being able to go to the back and get those services? You haven't stated a business with one of those offices. I'm doing a story on these offices. Any public areas I want to, I want to be able to record and, and document and gather the content for my story. So you would need to make a meeting with those offices so they can meet and discuss your concerns. It, there, it's not about a discussion of the concerns, it's about filming and recording the, the public areas of the public building. Would it go with our public information officer then? Yes. That request would go through her? It's, it's, no, it's not a request, that's what you guys aren't understanding. The public areas need to be open. Also, is there a public restroom in this building? You see how you guys screwed up? And I could just point it out left and right. There is very much a public restroom. Where is that public restroom? I need to use it. You don't have other business, correct? Well, so the way the law works is if we can go to the public restroom, I can be in those areas freely and Where I can go through. Go I'm answering your questions. Yes. I can go through and, and record in anywhere the public can be, right? So I'm pointing out to you guys that these signs are ridiculous. You guys put them up Ill, Ill informed. You should have um, maybe sought a little bit more of counsel. So, yeah, I need to use the. Uh, a lot of di well, it would be better just to be more transparent and allow the public to come in and not worry about a camera. I mean, that would probably just be the better option. Like, do the job a little bit better, not worry about the camera. If you guys have nothing to hide and nothing to worry about, the camera would not be an issue. That's kind of how that works. So, public restroom. She's going to walk by, let me hop out of her way, which, did you want to block me so she's safe? I'm sorry, block who? I'm talking to her. Did you want to block me so she's safe? Now that oh, I I'm not feeling frightened your by perspective, you. I don't necessarily see you as a threat, so I don't feel I need to protect someone. Now they understand my perspective, interesting. Okay. So yeah, uh, again, I need public. I need access to the public areas here. Any public areas, I need access to them so that I can continue to gather the content for my story. See, this is what I. This is what I meant by saying hypothetically they will be kicking and screaming and scratching the entire way, and then they will get a huge, you know, uh, smackdown from the public administratively, and and then it will. They'll open everything back up and they'll just stop. But right now, they're like babies who just got told by their parent, hey, no, you need to do something, and they're, they're rebelling is what this is. This is like rebellious behavior. Um, so it's unfortunate, but. Oh, public restroom? Perfect. I love it. Yeah, need to use the restroom, man. I'm literally going to freaking pee all over. Like, what is going on here? So they've walked away from me because I've pointed out their violations. It's 
so I just heard with my own ears whoever this lady is talking to and that's why I'm trying to see who she is this lady is saying why why is he here but why and the other lady said he's just trying to be an asshole and cause problems that's exactly what she said and I can guarantee my mic picked it up so whoever whoever if we get to see who this ignorant ignorant POS public worker is we will move to have her ejected as well there she is yep caught her caught the picture of her perfect so they hear me knocking they walk by me knocking and literally refuse to acknowledge me or provide any service again these chairs are empty there are two people that work in here we have them on camera earlier they're supposed to be here. Do you think these people are doing any work right now? No, I can guarantee you they're not. They're in the back, sitting back, trying to wait me out. And like I said, I'm literally going to be here till five. I'm not leaving at all, You're period. Yeah, uh, I will be here till five. Yeah, I will. I absolutely will. You, have, you, have no, you don't even have any service here. Exactly, they're, service they're, refu they're refusing me service. No service they're refusing me service. You haven't stated a service that they refuse. I've been they asking, can't, I've can't asked to use the bath, bathroom, it's right? A That's a service. It's a it non, is. It's, a, it's an employee area. Incorrect. Okay. Well, yeah. Agree to disagree. Okay. Agree to disagree all but you want. Oh, I am. I am. You're not. Yeah. You are not staying here. I am. Okay. Yeah, for sure. You're going to end up in Carson Jail. You'll be staying there. Carson Jail? You're going to violate my First Amendment right? You're not going to violate your First Amendment right. That's what you'd be doing. You're trying to put a time limitation on them. I can stand What's here and work. Service? I can stand my story. I can stand here and work on my story all day. Yes, I can. Go educate yourself. Say, let, let, me, let me chat with you, if I may. So, this is where I think when we were discussing it before, where you may be ill informed. So, when you mention time, place, and manner, who establishes that according to the Supreme Court? So the people he's, he's not going to answer. We're, we're not, not going to get into this. Time, place, and manner is clear. It's extremely Time. clear. And they also, also, public buildings have the right to refuse service. No, no, they, they don't. They, they 100% they, we do. pay for this service. They don't have a right to refuse this service. service. Yes, we, we do. We pay, we pay taxes. We pay taxes for this service. We pay taxes for this service. Period. Point blank. Period. This is a public service. Time, business hours, they're open. Place, public area. Okay. Manner recording. And what's the service? Period. Your, your service is the recording. My First Amendment is, it doesn't matter whether I'm getting service. I have a right per Glick versus Gunnafee, per Smith versus Cummings, Fordyce versus Seattle. I have a record, so right to record public officials while in the course of their duties. That's not entirely Period. correct. It's very so correct. The only thing that's laid out in public officials is police. There, no, there's nothing that specifically states any other employee on the law right now. What's a public official, sir? It's so not it just say police. It, say, it does say officials. public officials. And, uh, <laughs> it you, says you public officials very clearly. Is, is what happens is you, you become to the point where you're disruptive for business. They're not allowing me to use the restroom. They, we've marked very clear. I asked them, is there a public restroom? Yes, they've said it. Now you've said, no, there's not. You're wrong. They've just said there is. It's a public restroom. There's public notices on the other side of this door that they're in violation for because I can't gain access to those and, and take the pictures of them I want. My First Amendment right is very, very clear. I can be in it here is, and record. You can't put a time limitation on it. Well, if yeah, that's true. Your First Amendment is absolute within reason. Right. So, so then what's the time forum, limitation? Public forum, if they come out here and say they want you out of here, then it's done. Okay, I mean, that's what you think. Have them well, say that. I'll leave, and, and I've already told you. Process. You're just adding, and that's not what the law says. And that's okay. You're well, wrong. Like I said, I then do it. To, do it. You know, Make it. Any sort of litigation you would like. No, no, we, we're, we're, the other one's being we're already in, in motion, so that's no big deal. Just add on to it. Go ahead. You're wrong. You guys have this idea in Nevada that you can trespass people from public lobbies of public buildings, but I will, I will help you prove that you're wrong. I promise you, you guys will learn that you're wrong. And people that act like him don't belong in this job, period. Well, I could tell by his little attitude because he doesn't want to stay here till five. Guess what? You get paid for that. You guys shouldn't be here right now. You guys should have been gone. What crime are you here for? What crime? 
So we're not. We're, part, we're so what are you? Your 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 security for the education department? Well, no, you should be looking for crimes and doing your job. You're not doing that right now. You're here enforcing, hope, helping these people to feel safe. That's ridiculous. They, she's already very clearly said she understands that I'm not a threat. That's this is all very clear. Does. No, it's not. Yeah. Law enforcement enforces right. laws. Law enforcement. law enforcement enforces laws. Mm -hmm. You guys enforce laws. When somebody breaks the law, you guys enforce it. Something happens, you guys get a call. You investigate crimes. You don't stand around so employees can feel like they're safe from a guy recording. Well, you don't do that. That's, 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 that's BS. You can disagree all you want. Okay. Well, I guarantee the majority of the public disagrees with you. Okay. So. I, the majority of the public disagrees with you. Okay, then that's what you think. Yeah. Well, cool. well, we have our opinions, yeah. right? Well, here's one of the things, Cute. like there's statute that like dictates our existence and mm -hmm. you know what our jurisdiction is, is the Capitol Police. We're literally doing what by statute we're supposed to be doing. Like preserving the safety of all state entities. That is literally our existence. We have jurisdiction over every state property, over every. And they're not safe state right state now. Employee. Well, I'm not saying they're not safe per se, but. They, they, I could just continue to ask questions. You guys heard me say it earlier. I can continue to ask questions and have you guys continue to put your foot in your mouth. It, it's just dumb. You know, well, as well as I know, you guys should be gone. Like, I think we had a relatively decent conversation the last time we had spoke. And we have, you know, a, a difference of our interpretation, but I can tell you my interpretation has been vetted all the way up to the Supreme Court. Well, really? Do you have cases that you've been involved in in the Supreme Court regarding this issue? Well, no, I'm just... I'm <laughs> well, there's plenty of cases that have gone to the Supreme Court regarding this issue that say public officials, and it doesn't matter. A public official isn't just a police officer. Fordyce said... Specifically said... The Seattle versus Fordyce was specifically Seattle PD. That's what I'm trying to say. See, I, that's was exactly what I was... Uh, Border Patrol... And what did they say? They established, they reaffirmed what... But what were they doing at Border Patrol? What were they doing? They were filming all the employees. And right. you can film Where all the them? employees. Where were they filming them? In a public forum, what this is. Yeah, no. This is a, a public forum. Public forum. Uh, traditional Where limited doesn't matter. See, this is the thing that you don't understand when it comes to the public forum. Is there a law that's... The case, if there... Hold on, listen. If there's a law that says I can't film in here and they can restrict it, which I don't think that that would stand the test of the Supreme Court, but if there was one, then you would have grounds to say this is not... This is a limited public forum and they're able to make that law or ordinance. But, but there's not one. It. There's not one. The so what... It. The Ninth Circuit Court specifically stated traditional public forum public sidewalks public parks that's a traditional public forum that doesn't mean this is this is a limited this is a limited public Correct. forum so so saying that time place and manner that they can limit certain uses Correct. of the property so, so let me ask you let me ask you it's 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 not because there's public notices right on the inside outside of that door that that we have access to so if they did that for everybody and not just me with a camera, you're right. Or if there was a law that says, hey, you can't be here recording, then you would have grounds. I'd probably shit on you guys in court later, but you would have grounds to do something. But let me ask you, you're talking about a limited public forum. It only matters if there's a law you're enforcing. What law would you be enforcing that I can't be here? 207-200. It doesn't count. It's a public building. Yeah, 100%. What would, you, what would they trespass me for? So ask me. What would, what would they, they trespass me for? Yep. Because so, it can't be my camera. Subsection two. It, it, can't, it can't be camera. No, it's not the camera. And it, and it also says, behavior. if you look at subsection two, it says owner or occupant, occupant. right? Correct. Owner or occupant, meaning if somebody rents the, the property from the owner and they're an occupant of a house or building or land, they can kick somebody out. It clearly says when you read down, it defines, it talks about public property lower. I think it's in section three, four, something like that. And it talks about public price specifically calls out public property and how public property can be uh, where you can trespass. And it talks about signs and things like that. Nowhere in there does it give you the right to trespass somebody from public property in a public yeah, lobby. 100%. No, it doesn't. Does not. Well, not at all. Period. So, if you want to go that route, be my guest. Ever, uh, well, you, well, you ain't done it on somebody who knows what they're talking about that has money for a good lawyer. I'll tell you that much. But be my guest. You know as well as I know. Go get them to say you want me trespassed. Tell me you're gonna arrest me. I'll be gone right now. You won't have to wait till five. Go ahead and do uh, it. That's not be my an
What do you that even do it? That is not my prerogative to do. They're you are. You're being a jerk. No, they're, being, they're the building responsible. They, they would have to tell me. I'm not going to go direct them to how to work. It's, it's not my prerogative. Well, what do you mean I'm not staying here till 5 then? That's not your prerogative either, right? No, but if what I think they should be doing is servicing you. What is your... What, the, exactly. What, what so if, have them service me. Right them. now if I need to use the bathroom around, and I'm around, doing my story. Down. Yeah, it is wandering around. That is service. This public lobby is open for me to get content for my story, whether it takes me five minutes or five hours. It is open for me to do my story. Unless there's a law that you can state that says it's not. There's not one that you have that says it's not. You can't find one because it wouldn't exist. It would never stand the test of the Supreme Court. So this is the First Amendment. You know why it's the First Amendment? Because it's the most important amendment. It allows me to say to you what I'm saying right now, and it allows me to record it while I'm doing that. It protects my right against tyranny from you telling me I can't be here till five. That's what it protects. Do you even know the five elements of the First Amendment? I'm not going to get into it. I didn't think so. So... Anyways, unless you guys are going to violate my rights and wage war on my rights today, and they're going to come out and say they want me trespassed, and you're going to arrest me if I don't leave, then I'll be here till 5. No, I'd want them to get you squared away and get you taken care well, of. Well, I'm literally, if they let me use the bathroom, I'll get the hell out. I just got to take a piss. Yeah. I, I want to leave. That's why I'm trying to use the bathroom. But at the same time, just know that you guys will be back out here tomorrow because I'll be back. And I'll be here when they open, and I'll stay here until they leave. And you guys can do what you want at that point. Uh, it, it, the, the arrest thing, I, I don't care about an arrest. I've been arrested over 20 times. It does not scare me at all. I don't care about it. Now, do I need to do it? No. Threaten the arrest. I'll leave. But trying to scare me, you'll be in Carson. Oh, oh. Squat and cough, I've done it a million times, bud. A million times. You're not scaring me with the jail I'm thing. You might scare to, some I'm little peewee clown punks with the I, jail I'm time, but I'm not scared with it. Okay, seemed like it. Well, you'll be in Carson jail. I'll tell you that much. No, that's fine. We'll be out in 12 hours, 24 hours. Can we help this gentleman use the restroom real quick, please? Nope. We're public. This is not public. But that's not what the supervisor said. That what's that? We have dad on the phone. This is the lady who called me an a, an a hole. Come on. You want to come with me? Yeah. Look, so they're saying that this area is no longer open to the public. It was never open to the public. Well, the, your supervisors earlier said it's a public restroom. You're wrong. They said it was. So, bye, bye, lady. This lady's ignorant, bro. Okay, here we go. Let me back up away from the door here. All right. Which one is I this? I give you that. That is uh, regarding our public's record request, and we have answered your questions. Awesome. We're going to ask you to leave our premises now. Okay. Thank awesome. You, is it, is, so it's a request? We have written yeah. down your request. That just explains it to you. Okay. There will be a fee for the copies that you'll be keeping up in five days if there is any. Yeah, unless I get a digital copy, which I might. Okay. So, is there a, 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 we are requesting that you the name the again? The name. What is it? Name? Yeah. Barbieri? Uh, so, this is a request. So, well, it's a demand. It doesn't sound like it. It's a request. Is we it a request? Leave so we can get back to our work. Okay, cool. Very clearly, uh, oh, if I don't leave, are you going to arrest me? Yes. You are going to arrest me? Yes. Okay, cool. I'll see you guys in court. Love it. See you there, too. All right, I'll leave. I'll be back. Oh, uh, what, can I ask why I'm being trespassed? Goodbye. Thank you. Well, I need a note to know why, right? So I do have a right to know give why. Me some paperwork real quick. So you just want to come out to the car with us real quick. Well, is it going to say why? Yes. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. So we will definitely, definitely hold them accountable for that one. So. All right. So if you want to come with me real fast. Cool. This is the public you are records. officially being detained, so I do need to see your ID. Detained for what? For violation of 207 200. Well, that's, I, I left. I was asked to leave. I left. That's not a violation of it. Being here when I've already well, been trespassed is a violation. Serve you the trespass notice. But it doesn't say that in 207.200. It just says if somebody stays after us being left, then they violated trespass. It doesn't say to serve, they have to show ID or anything like that. I'm not being detained for a crime right now because I just left. All right, well, fair enough. Mm -hmm. well, you don't want to show yeah. your ID? Well, I mean, do I have to? I don't feel like I'm obligated. 
So no, I don't. If I'm not obligated, I know a little bit about this. So no, I'm not going to show my ID. But I, I will take the trespass. But why am I being trespassed? I need to know that. I have a right to know that. So you're being trespassed because they've tried to service your needs. You no longer had viable business in the building. And I will tell you, they can, by their interpretation, doing your story is not the viable business. Okay, so I'm so I'm I'm being so trespassed because I, I, I was there with the camera. No, you're not being trespassed because you're there with the camera. Well, you're what being I'm, trespassed because you didn't have any business further. My story is is business. I was asking to use the restroom. I asked several other questions that I was trying to get answered, as you guys saw on camera. There's public notices. How do I get that answered? So. In essence, they were refusing to serve me, and now they've asked you to trespass me, which is not uh, legal grounds to trespass somebody, but okay. Well, they, I mean, when you read the statute, that's your interpretation. But I can tell yeah. you, there's a subjective nature to that particular statute, so which the interpretation is left up onto the building responsible. And so if they deem that they want somebody gone, that's within their prerogative. And like I explained to you before up in Reno, that that's, you know, within the prerogative of building responsible we're just issuing it on their behalf no i understand they asked for it you guys can't ask for it and i was totally trying to get you to solicit a trespass earlier i want to see if you were dumb enough to do that did you guys have your body cam back on on back there when you spoke to them yes okay cool so i'll get the i'll get the buy the footage for that because i want to see exactly what was said and how the trespass came about okay. um but okay so i'm being trespassed because they felt i had no business there anymore is that is that fair enough to say correct okay so the fact that they answer i'm just going to narrate now so i'm trespassed for how long so they didn't establish a parameter can we, we let's establish one all right can we get them to establish one well, well, i just need to know how long if is it today right yeah i'll chill right here is it today i, I got a can you hurry <laughs> that's just a favor i'm asking if it's today then i'll come back tomorrow and we'll do it again if it's forever perfect because we have a right to have services here so awesome this is so ignorant man i cannot wait for this uh for this lawsuit because this is this is exactly what it takes to change the the way that these uh law enforcement officers that don't know what the f they're talking about the way they interpret the law right um and this is this is what it takes like i said were i um you know, I, I, I had a conversation with this guy last time he did this and I said, you never know. I, I, I speak to lawyers and they tell me, hey, uh, you know, there would be more grounds in the lawsuit if you got arrested. Then, you know, you never know. Maybe you come back. Maybe you don't. It's all just depends on on the standing in the lawsuit. But typically you don't need that. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. So these guys just think that, you know, it, any public agency asks you to, to leave, you have to leave. They could trespass you for any reason. And it's just not true. It's not true. Oh, well, they, they felt like you didn't have any more service there. No, they were refusing to answer my questions. They refused to give me access to the public notices that I asked for that by law they have to give me. These guys saw it. They didn't um, enforce that law on them which they should have so they failed to do their job and uh, yeah it's very very clear and it's it's a beautiful thing so um, it's just the ignorance by our public employees can I ask why you didn't enforce that law uh, Latos no. public notices how come you didn't enforce them uh, uh, giving me access to the public notices that by law I have I to access to yeah it's a law you enforce law right yeah, public notices are there because of a law. The law says that we are, have to have access to those. How come you didn't enforce that law? How come? I, I just, I just, I've already answered that question. You keep asking the same question. No, I'm asking why you didn't enforce I the law. Not you, you enforce laws, right? I do. Enforce okay, by law, I have access to those notices. How come you didn't enforce that and tell them you have to give him access to these public notices? Do you want me to make you copies and bring them out here? Well, I wanted you to do your job at the time. I How come you I didn't? Make you copy How come you didn't do your job at the time? That's what I'm asking. We're just, we're just going back and forth. No, because you're not answering the question. How come you didn't do your job at the what's time your, and say, hey, ladies, hey, ladies, how come you you have to give them access to that? It's a law. How come you didn't say that? You saw a law being violated in front of your face. You did nothing. Right? saw a law being violated in front of your face you did nothing kind of like him last night when a guy 
recklessly drove, almost hit another car, and got out to try to start a physical confrontation. He saw a law being violated. He did nothing. But you guys do something because of a camera. Why is that? I'm not doing anything because of a camera. Yeah, you are. What am I doing? You, you very clearly in there. You guys just trespassed me. You're part of it. I'm part Right? Of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you, uh, what, what's your rank? I'm the chief. You're the chief? Yeah, so you're definitely part of it because your subordinate right now just trespassed me simply because they were asked because I was exercising my First Amendment right and they were refusing me service. The building responsible asked. It doesn't matter. It's, it's for you to say, hey, we actually can't do that right now because he's not, there's no violation. He's not vi that, committing a crime. Opinion. It's not right. my opinion. It's it the Supreme your, Court's it's opinion. opinion. No, it's your opinion that you are. Okay. Okay. We're just, not, we're just wasting our time. Here. I'm not wasting my time. Not wasting my time at all. I'm asking questions of a public servant that should answer the questions. And I'm asking, why didn't you enforce the law and, and uh, tell had, them, you've asked that question and like you haven't times. answered it. I did answer it. What, what was I, your answer? What did, what did I say? I don't know. Why did you not enforce it's the law? Why did you not enforce the law? You're not listening. I am. Why did you not enforce the law? So maybe I didn't hear you. How about you say it again? No, I'm not going to say it again. You could go back, replay your tape. Your you tape. don't enforce You're laws. That's what you said. It. Because it was a public notice law, you don't enforce that law. So you pick and choose what laws you enforce? Is that what it is? Or no. do you have discretion when you when you enforce law uh, about that type of stuff? Uh, I don't no. enforce those laws. No, you do. And you do have discretion. You do. You're a cap. Crimes. You're a capital pl for various crimes, but not to not to allow somebody access to pu public services. Uh, uh, are you guys going to issue them any type of ticket or anything What's your for? That you got denied? To, to get a copy or to not even get a copy to get access to those public notices that by law, bro, you can't two hours later say, oh, I'll go make copies. Sorry, I didn't enforce that law. No, you can't. <laughs> Why don't you, this is my thing with law enforcement. Why don't you guys do your job the right way? Why don't you protect our rights? Why do you constantly protect public buildings and public workers but you don't say hey he has a right to be here there's absolutely nothing i can do i have no authority bye bye why don't you do that tell me uh, i think we did do that you didn't do that you've uh, been here for two hours you've been here for two hours you've been in there for two hours so why didn't you leave there's no crime bye 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 there's no crime ladies what? What? bye bye after you got service why didn't you I didn't get service, sir. I was What's trying to ask more questions. I was trying to get more questions about why they're blocking off the public notices and why they're blocking off That's the public bathroom. That is service. It's questions from my report. It is service. And then you never know. More public records come up from that. You guys don't know if I have any more service that I need from them. You have no clue. I didn't tell you I didn't have any service. I, I said right now I'm doing my story. Go you're ahead. Not, I, I'm probably not going to answer it, but go ahead. Answer. So, do you live in the state of Nevada? Why does that matter? Do I spend money here? With, with education? Do I spend money here? I have no idea. Does sir. some of the state's funding that they get from tax money spent here go to this department? Yes. So guess what? Does federal money go to this department? Yes. Why? I've looked it up. So yes, I do pay taxes for these services, sir. Yes, I do pay taxes. So you're wrong, right? Okay. You're incorrect. See, you're allowing your feelings to dictate the way you're doing your job and interacting with me. No, you should not. not, not Sir, you did very not much when I said, I'm going to be here till five. And you said, you are not. I'll tell you that much. Do, 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 do. Feelings, very much feelings. You allowed your feelings to dictate your actions right there. Okay. For sure. For sure. And you shouldn't. Matter of fact, you're not allowed to. There is laws that say your feelings can't dictate the way you do your job. And I can give you those laws, but you did, and you shouldn't have, and you threatened me with arrest. I didn't threaten you. You will be sitting in Carson jail, sir. Yes, you did. That is a threat of arrest. You don't have to say, I will arrest you right now as a threat of arrest to say, you're going to be sitting in Carson jail. Yes, sir. Chief what? of the Capitol Police, that is a threat of arrest. No, Absolutely why, why it is. Why was it said? You're, you're because it your feelings no, were dictating not, the way you did your that's job. Not that's why it was that's said. Not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not and I, the video will show okay. it. The video, can he hurry? I got to, thank God, I got to piss. All right, there she's coming out right now to give all the specifics. Jesus, can you just tell me? I got to pee so bad, man. It's ridiculous. Like, it's bad. How long is it? I got to pee, dude. Right Oh my God, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
freaking blow my bladder up here in a second. Oh my God. And then, so is it, it is, what I understand, what I got from you last time, it's from inside. It's not from the parking lot. Or is it going to be from both this time? So, yeah, because everything east or uh, north of the sidewalk. Okay, well, let me get off the property now then, since I understand that. And it's serious. It's a serious issue that, they're, that they brought upon themselves. You know what I mean? For uh, enforcing the will or these people's feelings is what they're doing. So... Let's see here how long I cannot get services that our tax dollars pay for. Let's, let's, let's listen. Okay, sir, based on your behavior and our interactions and your unwillingness to state your business and then make it, <laughs> trespassing you in a term of two years. Awesome. If you need to come here for your public information request, do you have the superintendent's business card? Please do call and we'll bring the information out to you. Okay, cool. And so... I failed to state my business, or did you guys just walk away when I was asking questions and not answer them? You have not stated a clear and single, concise point of business that we've been able to address. It's not true. I've been asking questions. You guys refuse to address them. I think that's a public request, so we are aware Well, that's not it. There was, there was more questions. I hope you guys have other skills. I promise you. We'll get you replaced. Take care.